Hello, everybody. This is Hobo, your favorite starving gamer. Thanks for clicking that thumbnail and joining me as I continue my one year journey to play and rate the nearly 1300 retro video games on Antstream Arcade. Today is day 65. Each day I play four games and give them a simple score to indicate my first impressions and how likely I am to play again. I use the S through F tiering system, and that is explained in the description to the video. So up first today, we have the classic Brawler Double Dragon, released in 87 by Technos. So this is the arcade version. Your girl has been kidnapped by a gang of clone 1980 street punks. Kick, punch, and headbutt your way to her rescue and a confrontation with their boss, the unsportsmanlike Machine Gun Willie. And I have played this before. I played it a ton as a kid. It's probably my favorite uh, beat-em-up. We had it on our Nintendo. And we played it quite a bit on Antstream, and my my non-gamer wife actually enjoys it. She's pretty good at it. We play retro games sometimes. And throw those bows. I think it's just, it's got all the elements of a good beat-em-up. It's one of the first ones to really do it well. I think the controls are great. You can avoid damage if you time it right, so... Gill is important. Been a little while. Rip. Love the bat. Elbow to the face. All right. 
the elbow is the ultimate weapon. All right, well, that is enough to show it off. I'm sure most of you have seen Double Dragon and probably played it. So, I mean, I think it's just an amazing game. It's very nostalgic for me, so I'm biased, but I got to put this one on the S tier. Then up next, we have Dinosaur Detective Agency, a platformer released in 93 for the Amiga. Sleuth your way through prehistory as Sherlock Ness in this fun and colorful platformer. So jump, you have a camera, you can stun people once you get some flashes to use. can freeze them and then you can walk past them. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not great. You push down to go down those shafts. Music's okay. Graphics aren't great for the Amiga. enough to show it off that is dinosaur detective agency you know definitely more of a kid's game but it's not terrible i'm gonna say that goes on the c tier up next we have dead or alive a uh sort of running gunner um without much running for the spectrum released in 1987 uh, you'll be dying for a drink in this high-pressure Old West rootin' tootin' gunslinging good time. Movement and fire. Like it froze. Yeah, I was having technical difficulties earlier with this game. Let me try it again. Yeah, he's not moving. Nothing works. Keyboard doesn't work. Xbox controller. But when I started it again, it worked earlier on the second try. Let's try it one more time. There we go. So yeah, you're just trying to prevent the bad guys from robbing the bank. You shoot them, you have limited ammo. There is friendly fire between the bad guys. And you have to run over them, their corpse, after they die to get more ammo. And it disappears really quick and you move really slow. And your thirst meter goes down. You go into the hotel to fill it back up. One shot kills you. And the worst part about the game is when you run out of ammo, you're just 
done. All you can do is get shot. And there's no melee button. And there's also a horse that runs by that will trample you. So, and there's no end to the game as far as I can tell. You're just trying to get a high score. So yeah, that is Dead or Alive for the Spectrum. I think graphics are quite bad. Um, sound effects are, you know, basic, pretty typical for the Spectrum. Controls aren't very good. Um, and it's just not a lot of fun. And it's having technical difficulties. So I got to put that one on the D tier. And then finally, we have Dead or Alive for the Commodore 64, also released in 87. Graphics are a little bit better, controls are better, but the hitboxes aren't as good. And the bodies disappear really even quicker. One shot kills you. There's a bar to go into instead of a hotel when your thirst gets too low. Uh, you can't shoot the horse. And again, there. There's no end to it as far as I can tell. You just are going for a high score, so not very intriguing. But the background music's pretty good. Rip. It's not terrible, it's a lot better than the Spectrum version. And the amount of ammo. It doesn't matter, you go into the, ho the bar, you don't get any ammo, go in you can't go in the jail or the bank, so... And you have no melee. Super annoying, so... Anyway, that's enough to show that off. Like I said, better than the Spectrum, it's playable, it's okay. Um, decent high score hunting type of game, but I'll put that on the C tier. So that is our four games for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the playlist at the end for some earlier episodes, and have a good day.